Hey guys, it's Elisa, and today I have a book haul. I'm going to go ahead and show you everything that I purchased when I went to Austin, like I promised. So the first book that I'm going to go ahead and show you, or the book that I'm going to show you, there in no particular order or anything like that. It's just whatever I grab first. So the first book that I went ahead and got was The Vampire Diaries, Stefan's Diaries, Volume 3, The Craving. Um, I have the first two, and this one was on sale for like $2.00 at Half Price Books, and this is what I went ahead and bought. This is one of the places that I like to go to, the store I mean. <laughs> it was one of the places that I like to go ahead and go to when I go to Austin, and I spent a pretty penny there, so yeah. Um, this one basically follows the old Stefan, but the Stefan from the show, not the Stefan from the original Vampire Diary books, so to be honest with you, I haven't read the first two. This was $2, and I do own the first two, so might as well buy it. So that's why I got it. But yeah. The next book that I went ahead and got was Gone by Lisa McMahon. This is the last book in the trilogy. I have not read it. I honestly did not realize this was the last one when I picked it up. I thought this one was the first one. The first one is Wake. Um on here it was on sale for two dollars so i don't feel too bad but now i have to buy book one and two which is wake and fade but yeah <laughs> the next book that i went ahead and got was the darkest night by jenna showalter i love this series as you can tell look at that butterfly <laughs> I own this book already, but I lent it to a friend, and her sibling took it hostage and has not returned it back to me. I think they've had it for like almost a year. So, I, when I was at the Half Price Bookstore, this was there for like three dollars. This follows Maddox, who is the keeper of violence. This basically has Greek mythology in there, and it follows the lords of the underworld who got punished by basically they were kind of je well, not kind of they were jealous because the gods or zeus had put pandora in, in charge of the box so they thought they were going to be all macho men and like open the box and then save the day and put everything back which of course they did not so as punishment they all had to go ahead and keep a demon from pandora's box in themselves Maddox is the keeper of violence and follows the story and falling in love and it's a really really good book it's one of my favorites he I don't know if he's one of my favorite lords because there's so many of them but I loved how he introduced me to the rest of the clan so good book the next two books are part of a series it's called The Fallen Series, and it's by Christina Douglas. This is the second book in the series called Demon. I already own the first one called Brazil. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but Brazil is the first one. This is the second book. This one was for $3, so that's why I got it. And I also got book three, which is Warrior. In the series, I know that they're about fallen angels. I have not read it yet. I have been dying to. I need to dedicate some time to some adult books because lately all I've been reading is young adult and new adult, which nothing against them at all. I do enjoy them, but I have not read an adult book in a while. Okay, no, that's not true. <laughs> I mean, I just read the the Liver at Last by Jerry Ward, right? That's an adult book, but I haven't gotten lost in a whole series of adult books, so I'm going to be doing that soon. I, I do want to read this series. There's another one that I want to read um, by Deborah Cook, so we'll see what happens. The next book that I went ahead and got is Street Farm by Allison Van Dypen. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I have only read one book by her called Raven. I think it's called Raven. If not, I will put it somewhere here if I have it wrong. But it's about fallen angels. Or it was about a fallen angel, if I remember. I read it in 2008. It was such a long time ago. But I really, I know I really, really enjoy it because it's on one of my really liked list no not list shelf 
I have a sh I, I had a shelf, I still have it, I should say, where I put all the books that I really, really enjoyed on it. Like, I would not pack it away or anything, because at one point I did not have this big, beautiful shelf on the back, and I used to have to pack books that I couldn't finish. But this one takes place in high school and about, you know, drugs, basically, as you can tell from the title, if you did not notice. But I really enjoyed that story, so I always wanted to pick this one up. I think this was one of her first books that she wrote and it was like three dollars so might as well pick it up. So yeah. The next book I got was The Vampire Stalker by Alison Van Dypen as well. This one is one of her newer releases. Um, of course it is a vampire book. It's about a girl who falls in love with a vampire hunter and follows their story. So yeah. The next book that I went ahead and got was Between by Jessica Warman. Warman? Yes, Jessica Warman. This book, I picked it up because the, when we were at the bookstore, my best friend was like, it's a really good book. She didn't get to finish it yet. But she really enjoyed it. It's about ghosts. Basically, it says a ghost story, a love story, and a cautionary tale that gallops from it's gripping beginning to it's crackling conclusion. She really enjoyed it. I picked it up. It was $6. Normally it's a $18 book. It's hardback. Looks super brand new except for that marker piece. But she liked it. So I decided to go ahead and purchase it. The next book that I went in and got was Unearthly by Cynthia Hand. This is the first book in the series. It's about fallen angels. I have not read it yet. The only reason why I had put off on it was because I wanted all three books to be out, to be honest with you. I didn't want to be waiting year after year for the next book and the next book. So I decided to hold off and wait until all three were out. And I know the last one recently came out. So now I just need to acquire book two and three. This, of course, like I said, is the first one. It is hardback. Um, I got it for like seven dollars, if I'm not mistaken. And I mean, these covers are so pretty. And I like the other one, like the blue and the like the pink fuchsia kind of color. But yeah. <laughs> the next book that I went ahead and got at the Half Price Bookstore was The Gargoyle by David no. I always mix up his name. Like, I always want to say David Anderson when it's Andrew Davidson. <laughs> I have no idea why, but I always do that with this book. Like, especially when I talk about it, I read this book years ago, and it is such a good book. It is sarcastic and funny and tragic and heartbreaking. It is such a good book, and this cover I love this cover. I love it a lot. And then if you take off the jacket, it has like this very heart on it. In the back, it's just like fire. And if you read the story, you'll understand why fire is such a big thing on here. And then it says, all things in a single book bound by love is what it says. So this is, oh, I love it. I really, really enjoyed this book and I had to go ahead and get another copy of it because <laughs> the one that I have is like an arc that I've had for years and there might be an ulterior motive as to why I went ahead and got this book but I'm not telling <laughs> but I did really love this book I really 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 do enjoy this one this is one of my favorite ones when people ask me about an adult book to refer them to and one that isn't too romantic or anything like that like too you know sexy time on there like too romancy or whatever like this is the book like if you have no problem with like a couple bad words I just need to say a couple there's quite a few bad words in a story like this is a good book I really love it the last book that I went ahead and got from the Half Price Bookstore was the Maze Runner series by James Dashner. I was super ecstatic and look how much it was. It was 
$14.99. These are the UK version, so they look like this. I haven't taken them out of the box yet. The only reason why I haven't taken them out of the box is because I need to make room. Like, I really need to go ahead and clean, not clean, rearrange my shelves is what I need to do. I have so many books, like, you guys don't understand. Like, I haven't had time to shelf them. So, right now, there's literally, like, three boxes in this general area full of books. Like, they're all right here. <laughs> and when people walk into my room, you just see, like, these boxes. There's, like, three big boxes full of books. So, I was going to do it today, but then it was so hot. And my family was playing bingo, and I don't know. just didn't do it. Anyways, so there's actually like two places that I like to go to when I'm in Austin, like two bookstores. So the Half Price Bookstore, because I don't have one in the area that I live in, and another one is called Book People. And the reason why I like Book People is because you can go, that's where a lot of writers go when they have like book signings and stuff like that in Austin. It tends to be at Book People. And also they'll have excess signed editions and I love that like I love that about that story and it's like it's like two it's actually like three stories but two stories is where the books are so the bottom is mostly like sci-fi and adult and then the second floor is young adults middle grade and then some my friend found a business book so I don't know what other books are on yeah, the because on the when you walk up the stairs, it's on your right hand side. So on the left hand side, there's other stuff. I don't remember. I didn't go to that side because that's not what I was looking for. <laughs> Anyways, so so what I went ahead and bought at Book People were two books. The first one I got was Farm by Emily McKay, and it is a signed edition, as it says. Um, this book, I know a lot of booktubers had talked about it, uh, of getting it and wanting to go ahead and read it. I think it's interesting, um, two sisters living on a farm because they're basically, vampires rule the world and they herd people into these, like, farms and stuff and trying to escape. But what made me pick this one out of all of them, because there were so many books that they had signed, like, they had... Marissa Myers, like the Cinder and Scarlet, and oh, they had Beautiful Redemption signed. That one I wanted so bad, but I already own it, and I don't know. I, I could have given my book to my cousin who lives in Fort Worth, but I don't know. I wasn't thinking that, but there was, anyways. So there were so many books that were signed, and I didn't know which one to go with. The reason I picked this one because I was gonna pick it up to go ahead and read it because it sounded interesting when uh, the other booktubers that I saw talk about it. But the reason I got this one because when I went to go ahead and looked at the sign edition, it has the signature, right? And then at the top, it says escape, which I think is pretty cool because of what the book is about. So that is the reason why I have not started reading it. That's just the receipt, I think. Yes, that is just the receipt. Don't think I've started reading it. I have not yet. This is the first time I've taken it out of the bag since I bought it. But yeah. The next book that I went ahead and got was Prodigy by Marie Lu. I have Legend in ebook. Now that I own Prodigy and Hardback, I'm going to need to get a copy of Legend in hardback as well just because I'm a sucker to have them match and again I love when it's like perforated pages I love that it is like in blue ink if you can tell yes blue ink and then it goes to like black ink I have not read it yet so I don't know why it does that but my best friend was like, look, and I don't know what, and 
I had told her, I was like, if they have a copy of Prodigy, because I saw both of them there, like, because, like, again, just this alone, I wanted to buy it. But I told her, I was like, I'll really, really buy it if they have a signed copy. So upstairs, they didn't, but when you walk in, they have, like, I guess, like, new releases and stuff like that in the front. And, um, they had it there, and I was like, oh my god. So this one is signed. Love it. So these are the two books. I limit myself to only two books to go ahead and get at book people because I would have gone crazy. I'm okay, this is my book haul. Those are the books that I went ahead and bought the majority of them when I was in Austin. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I'll have a, another book haul soon. There are some books that I need to go ahead and get, like Legend. But anyways, you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye!